Hi guys, so another chance for another stowed stuff car fix here. So as you know, we've got a Chevy Traverse and the weather's been really kind of humid the last few days here. I got my AC recharged in the Traverse so it was running really cold. And yesterday or today I noticed that we were getting a really uh, wet carpet in the front. So down here, I don't know if you can see, can you see how yeah, see, there's water in the carpet. And I had a look around and I think what's going on is that the the blower motor for the air conditioning lives under here. And I think it's filling up with water in this enclosure, which probably means there's a drain that's plugged somewhere. I'm not sure if it's on this side or the other side. I'll have a look. Also notice that when I go around the corner to the left, I get kind of this weird sound, which I wasn't sure, it sounded like something rubbing in the wheel well, but now that I think that's the, the motor that's the problem, I think it's when I go around a corner, the water sloshes up on that side and hits the motor, which can't be a good thing. So I'm going to do some digging around, see if I can figure it out, and I'll let you guys know how we fix it. So, there are a couple of these clips that you can pry off. One on this side of this thing and one over here that I've gotten off most of the way. Let's pull that one out. And let's see here. Oh, yeah. Can you guys see that? It's full of water. So I'm going to empty that out, take a look at the motor, and then we'll see if we can figure out where the drain is not working. I think it's probably in the floor of the car and there's probably a hose that runs from somewhere else to that hole. Let's see if we can find that next. Now we're in the driver's side wheel well and I think that black hose is the drain that I'm trying to get out here. Try not to do too much of pulling the panel off because I don't know if it'll go back well but I'm going to get around in there and see if that hose is the, the problem. After a little bit of rooting around down there, we realized that that is the hose that looks like it drains. I, uh, I popped the hose off and this came off the floor. So this is a, a valve that sits in a hole in the floor of the car. It's sealed up around the outside and it has this kind of, I don't know what you call this, flapper, duckbill kind of valve that is to stop water from coming the other way, which I don't know how effective that is, but, um, but it, as soon as I took this off, this hose drained like crazy and I was frantically searching for something to collect the water in. So be ready for that if you do this. And there was probably, I don't know, a quart or two of water in there, maybe, maybe not that much, but a lot of water trapped somewhere. So now I'm gonna reassemble everything and see if maybe this was just clogged and when I took it out, it, it unclogged itself. Um, I'm going to reassemble it. So you can't really see, but there's a hole that goes right through the floor of the car down there. And this hose attaches to this, and then that goes into the, into the floor of the car. So we're going to reassemble that, put this panel back, and then we'll try running the motor, see if, uh, if everything sounds good, uh, and see if it collects water again. So the panel's back in place. Now, I would not recommend trying to do this with the engine running because you do have to get really close to the gas and this panel over here on the right is held in place by a panel that sits above here that you have to pull down and you will end up hitting the gas by accident. So do it with the engine off, get sweaty, whatever. Uh, that's all back in place now. So let's now go and start the car and see if it sounds okay. Everything's running again. Uh, I'm not really sure whether that drain is actually the drain for that motor or if it's the drain from the sunroof somewhere, but it was definitely filled with water. Maybe it was backing up through there somehow, maybe it drains through there, and I guess you get con condensation whenever you run the AC anyway, so it has to go somewhere, has to collect somewhere, has to flow somewhere. 
Uh, so, if you have, let me turn this on. If you have a wet passenger side in a Chevy Traverse or a GMC Acadia or any of these GM Lambda vehicles, have a check and see if you can pop off that panel that I popped off. I'll show you again in a second outside and uh, see if it has water sitting in there. At least empty that out. Then you see if you can drain this hose over here. Make sure the valve in the bottom isn't clogged. Uh, that may solve the problem. I'm assuming it'll solve my problem. We will see in the next few days if it starts to fill up again. So that's the amount of water. I mean, it's a decent amount flowing down the driveway there. So, decent amount of water trapped in that hose for some reason. And must have been the valve because as soon as I got the valve off it flowed right freely. And uh, over here, this is the, the panel that I took off. I'm just trying to dry out the, the moisture. Uh, it must be draining through the motor because it's got uh, dust in there. That's the panel. It doesn't appear to have a way to drain out of that thing once it's in there, so I guess they assume it just sits and evaporates. Uh, anyway, so that is hopefully the fix to your wet passenger side carpet in a Chevy Traverse. One other interesting thing I found digging around down there is that the panel that has that tub in it that collects water appears to be, I guess through a typical piece of GM engineering, right next to a fuse box. Um, if you look down here, this is this panel here has the fuse diagram on it. I think there's a fuse box up in there. But anyway, uh, let's put a water collection container next to the fuses. Is that the smartest thing to do, GM?